What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the real dynamic island on older iPhones on iOS 16.5 and iOS 17.0 with Dynamic Cal Troll Store Edition. I've made a few videos about this, but getting Dynamic Island is now easier than before. Now with Troll Store 2, it's simple and easy. For those that haven't heard of Troll Store, you might wonder what it is. Troll Store lets you sideload apps without them ever expiring. In case you don't have Troll Store 2 yet, check out my dedicated guide to installing Troll Store 2 down below in the description. Installing it is a fairly simple process, and once you have it installed, you can come back to this video. However, before we get into installing Dynamic Cal, there are some requirements for using the Troll Store Edition. You must be on iOS 16.0 through 16.5.1. This does not work on iOS 15 and below, and this now works on iOS 17.0. So people that are now on iOS 17.0 can do this, but anything higher than 17.0 will not work. Once we have Troll Store 2 installed, we want to go to the GitHub link down below in the description, download the .tipa file. .tipa files automatically open up in Troll Store, so that's really convenient. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and open the file inside of Troll Store. And now here we go. It says Dynamic Cal. It gives us a little bit of information about what we're installing. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Install. It's going to install it. Now I can tap on Open and you can see here is the Dynamic Cal application. So from here, what we want to do is enable the iPhone 14 Pro option if you have a regular sized phone and iPhone 14 Pro Max if you have a Pro Max sized phone. Since I have a regular iPhone 11, I'm going to select the iPhone 14 Pro size. Since this feature was never meant to come to older devices, there may be some odd visual glitches, as this is tricking your phone into acting like a 14 Pro. One thing I noticed is the formatting of my keyboard is just off for some reason. But I do have to say, having this feature on an older device that wasn't supposed to get it is actually really cool. Yes, the Dynamic Island doesn't look 100% perfect, but that's also because, again, this was never meant to run on older devices like this. But now we can do some pretty cool things. Here are some features of the island. Incoming phone calls and FaceTime calls get the Dynamic Island treatment, and it looks really good. Once you answer it, you have the option of putting it on speaker or hanging up the call. You can also tap into it for the more traditional look. Screen recordings are viewable. There's airdrop, so you can see when an airdrop comes in. There's maps, so you can see where you are en route to your destination. And there's music as well. And I think Apple did a particularly good job with this dynamic island view. It looks really cool. And even on old devices, it looks really awesome. There's also a timer view as well, so if you set a timer, you can see it right up top there, and that also looks really good as well. Dynamic Cal is great, but unfortunately, because Dynamic Island wasn't meant to run on these older devices, some things just don't work as intended. The mute and ringer switch view in the Dynamic Island is completely cut off. You can see here's a live activity, and it doesn't pop up on my Dynamic Island view. And although some things don't work as intended, the Dynamic Island can do even more cool stuff. So say for whatever reason the Dynamic Island is not your thing, if you want to uninstall it, just go back inside the Dynamic Cal app and tap on the disable button. From there, once you respring, you should no longer see the Dynamic Island. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace. Oh,